Can you hear me now? Um, no, one second. So how you can hear me? You can't hear me, but you can answer me. Yeah, I can hear you now. That's a miracle. Mm. Okay. Well, so I just so, wanted to answer your... No, okay. yeah, yeah, before before you start, please. I saw many yeah. comments of you in the, in the comment section in the previous videos accusing me to be a liar, correct? Yes. Okay, yes. why? Why I'm a liar? Go ahead. Did, did you see my last message to you? you? You told the people that Muslims can lie to you, like knowing that they're actually lying. Like, that's such a that's such a big lie. Okay, let, us, let, us, let, us, let, us, let us examine this, if you Muslims can lie to us or not. Do you want to take a challenge between me and you? No, Friendly but I challenge. first want to answer your, your thing Okay, about, go on. Like, but remind me then, before we finish, to go to the, to the uh, Muslims can lie to us, and there is no question about that. Go ahead. Answer. No, what are we talking about now? We're talking about the, the verse about um, if they're true. Chapter 2, or... yeah, chapter 2, verse number okay. 31. Okay. Yeah, so in this verse, listen, in this verse, it's talking about uh, the absolute truth, right? Because Allah is knowledgeable, he's all-powerful, and he knows that which is, that which was, and that which will be. So he's asking them, do you have the absolute truth that I know, the absolute um, hmm. reality that is clear to me? And it's not asking them about, oh, are you liars or not? So you are kind of really, um, you know, twisting the truth here. It's not asking about the angels. Uh, so do you think the angels, with... okay, do you think the angels were doing the same as I'm doing, accusing me now, twisting the truth because the angels accuse Adam of mischievement. Allah, he answered them because if you are saying the truth that Allah is not saying to them, you are liars. Right. That's mean so, Allah, that's so mean Allah, hold on, them, you know, give you time to answer. Right. So let, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. They don't have the truth that he has. Okay, guys, he, he, okay, okay, hold on. He, Allah, he is telling them, you don't have the truth which I have. The absolute truth, it's not asking about, look, listen, it's not asking about whether or not they're, they're lying, they're deliberately um, hiding the truth. Hmm. It's asking them, do you know the absolute truth that I know? Oh. It's not uh, so, um, you know, like so, this makes sense. So should we, should we correct? Not... Okay, should we correct the Quran and add the word absolute truth? Because obviously the Quran is missing that no, word. You have to understand this from the context, right? Like well, not well, everything. The context says if you are truthful. If I am saying to you, okay, I will make a sentence for you. You said okay. the Christian prince is a liar. Give me your proof if you are truthful. What does that mean? I <laughs> what? What? I just, you just say to yeah, me that the Christian that. prince, you just say the Christian prince is a liar. I say to you, bring your proof if you are truthful. What does that mean? That's mean I'm accusing you to be a liar, not me. Yeah, but this is two humans talking to each other. Like, doesn't, matter, to doesn't matter, doesn't matter. This is the language no, of the human. God talks your about God, truth, Allah, God hold, hold on. God is two human, two, human two chicken, two potato, two tomato. This is the language. And the language no, is so clear. Hold on. No. You, it's not you. This, this is the language of the human. Your God, Allah. Uh, your God, Allah, is an Arab man. He is using the language of the <laughs> Arab man. <laughs> Is Allah speaking Arabic here, or he is, speak, is speaking a language which you do not know? This is Arabic. So Allah is saying to them, "If are truthful, that means they are not true." Okay, let me make the question simple: Are they truthful or not? I am truthful. What do you mean? Like, are, are they you asking truthful? If... The angels. Are, Allah said to them, "If you are truthful, they, are, the... they don't have." That. This is not the question. This is angels, not the question. Are the they? This is not the question. Are they truthful or not? Are they are they truthful or not? Mm -hmm. In the sense that you're asking, they're truthful, yes. So, they will so, never... Okay, like, guys, they are the truthful, yes. That means Allah is not a tru truthful because no, Allah no, no. is a challenge in them. Um, Allah, Allah is a challenge in them. Allah is a... Oh, hold on, hold on. Allah is a challenge in them if you are a truthful. So if the, as long as they are a truthful, that means Allah, he lost. What? Sorry. What? Sorry. Allah lost the argument. You just said they are truthful. So Allah is a stupid. <laughs> yeah. Allah said to them, "If you are truthful, and we discover <laughs> from from no, our our no, friend here, taking, listen, everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. They are taking, truthful. Be my witness. They are truthful. Did you say they are truthful or not? They are truthful in a sense that you're asking. Don't tell me a sense. Is, Don't tell me a sense. Are they truthful or not? Don't add word. Don't add word in the sense. In a sense. In no, a no, no. Right, listen, 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 listen. This is not a makeup you use in the front of your mirror to make yourself look pretty. <laughs> this is Quran. So don't make put makeup in the top of it. I'm asking you now. Are they truthful or not? You said this. Yes, they are. That means Allah is a stupid because He accused them not to be truthful. That's according to you, sir. 
Huh? It's uh, you're you're just you're you're translating. Uh, you're trying to understand the verse out of context. I am not understanding the verse as it, the series. Even this one with the context. I mean, listen, listen. All the chapter we are in the front of us. What out of context? Truth here. I I don't understand why you don't. keep talking. Don't keep talking. Hold on. Listen. Listen. So, I want to make it clear. Are they truthful? Final. Are they truthful or not? Don't add in a sense. I don't have the absolute that Allah This is not the question. The, the absolute truth. What is the ch garbage? I, I, what absolute? They don't have the absolute truth. Guys, they don't have the absolute truth. So, okay, I will go with you. Just to show everybody how, how low IQ those who try to defend the Quran. You just say they uh, don't have the absolute truth. Did you say that or not? Yeah, I just did. It. Okay, that's mean they lie when they say it. Are you going to place somebody will do mischief, man? Because no, they don't have the knowledge and the truth that Allah so has. You don't have That's the knowledge. How do you make such an accusation then? That means they are fabricating the news. Are you going to place somebody will do mischievement? Not my maybe will do mischievement. He will do mischievement. He will do bloodshed. They confirm that he will do that. So the angels, you said they are truthful. Allah is saying to them, you don't have the absolute truth according to you. But the angels are making a very dangerous statement that Adam, he will do mischief, not maybe. So they claim that they have the truth about Adam. And Allah, he said to them, if you are truthful, and now because you said what you said, Allah is in trouble because Allah now became the liar. Because the angels, they don't have the absolute truth according to you. And yet they oh, are making yes, a statement. So, 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 okay, so the angels, okay, I'll, I'll give the mic. So the angels, they make the accusation based in the truth they knew or the truth they don't know. The mic is yours. Based on their knowledge that they, clearly their knowledge. If you scroll down and look at the, the next verse, uh -huh. verse 32, it tells them that they don't have the knowledge that he has. So that's basically what he's getting at. I mean, if okay. you read okay. this. Okay, okay, okay. No, first, first of all, first, fine, hold, on, first, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. No, you see here the angels after Allah, he get them busted. He told them, okay, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So Allah, he put the conditions. If you right. are really truthful, then tell me the names yeah, of those things. Show them that they okay. really don't know then, the truth. That thank you, has. guys. He showed them. Did you hear her? He showed him that they do not know the truth. So they are not truthful when they made accusation to Adam, correct? No, listen, listen. First of all, first of all, you are not allowed to explain the Quran or Islam because you are a female. And according to your prophet, you are half a brain. But I, I believe in Allah. I'm, I'm yeah, you don't believe in Allah. You are, you, you are, you don't believe in Allah. You, you are, you are, you are not a believer in Allah, and I can prove it. Do you want me to prove it to you? <laughs> Okay, prove it to okay. me how. When you called me, you said what? You said Muslims are not allowed to lie, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you why don't you show the hadith that I just sent? I sent you okay. when you were telling that lie. But your prophet was talking about lying to Muslims, not lying to us. Let us go to the Quran. The Quran says you first, have no, you I have to lie. Hold on, hold on. Let us give a let us give a proof. Let us give a proof. Don't talk too much. Just wait. I will give my proof and I will put your verse and your hadith in front of everybody. Everybody will laugh. Deal. Your right. proof versus my proof. Okay. So this is the Quran, and I'm not going to explain. I'm not going to. I'm not going to explain the Quran up to me because you Muslims, you lie always saying, "Oh, this is your interpretation. This is your explanation." Correct? All right. So here, this is the Quran, and this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, and this is the cousin of your prophet. I want you to read for us what is in the screen, please. Go ahead. Chapter three, verse number twenty-eight. It's going to come. <clears throat> What, in the meantime, why don't you put the hadith I sent you on? The yeah, screen. we will put the hadith, no problem. Give me the hadith num number the, or the text. I, 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 well. sent, I sent it that day while you're saying that lie. Uh, that, that day, I sent it again. You know, I have a million uh, texts coming to me. No, no, just check your messages, sir. Okay, I just just give me the hadith now. What you will do, what you will do is just send it to me. I will put it on the screen. I, I'm on my phone, so it's hard. Uh, okay, I, after I, we finish, I will put it for you and we will laugh at it. Because here, if Allah, a prophet, he is saying you don't lie. He is speaking not to lie to Muslims, but you can lie as much as you want to non-Muslims. Read it. It says here that the one who take the Christians, who is sincere, to take them as a friend, 
and he seek might and honor by taking the hypocrites, the endless believers, as a friends, has no connection to Allah, has no honor or mercy or protection from Allah, which means Muslim will kill him. Very, very filthy cult gang religion. But guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking as it were security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this. Can Muslim lie to us, non-Muslims? Yes. It says it clearly, disbelievers. If you take them as a friend, Muslims will kill you. They will take your wife, they will rape her. If you are doing it as security, like now this woman, she live in the West. Let us say she live in America. She go to take a passport. She swear, I'm bare arm. I'm going to bear arm to defend my country, USA, blah, 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 blah. And I pledge for that. She is allowed to lie. As security because if she said the truth that the Christians and the Jews and the Kuffar and the Buddhas and the Hindus all of them and the atheists are our enemy we have to kill them all then they she will, she will go to jail so she can lie in Islam as long she is speaking to non-muslim and the verse in the front of you go ahead Mm. Yeah, no, I don't see any of the stuff you just said though. Like I, I read it. it. Yeah, you don't see it. Okay, take take a hike, guys. Guys, she don't see it. I just read it, and she don't see it. I just read the whole thing. I put it in the screen. She don't see the stuff I am saying. She cannot see it. Where? Where? It's not there. <laughs> Can you see it or you cannot see it? Can you see I, I don't, it? I, I, don't have, I don't have time for kids. I don't have time for kids. Can you see it or you cannot? No, I see it. I okay, see so what you are saying you cannot see it, does it say you can speak to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this? Does it say that or not? You can, you can what? You can. You can what? Can, you can speak to them in a friendly way, while uh, your heart dislike this. So in the word, you are friendly. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Okay. Is there some? Uh -huh, about? Uh -huh. So you come to a Christian person or a Hindu person or an atheist person, and you say, "Oh, we are friends." Yeah, but th does it not say saving yourselves from them? Right? Exactly. So, so there, saving yourself. Some, okay, so hold on. No, take it. Let, listen, listen. Take it as. No, listen, listen. Those people they want to take you as a friend. Saving yourself from what? Wow. They want to take you as a friend. The Quran saying, "Don't take them as a friend. They are not enemy. They don't want to kill you. They are." The Quran is warning you. Hold on, hold on. Stop being, stop, stop being a balbula. The Quran saying, yeah. "Don't take them as a friends." So those are not enemy for sure because they want to take you as a friend. So, but you can take them as a friend, as if it's security. Speak it to them in a friendly way, which means as security, as if you are under a threat. But it does not, and it's not because they want to take you as a friend. Yeah. If I want to take you as a friend, yeah. uh, if I want to take you as a friend, obviously I'm not going to kill you because I want to take you as a friend. Quran forbidding you from that in order saying, okay, you can't take him as a friend if you mean it. But if you are lying to them, you can do that. That's not my understanding, but I Who don't care about like, your understanding. Here, like, this is the interpretation. This is the interpretation yourself. made by the cousin of Muhammad, the highest scholar of Islam in Abbas. Yeah, but the fact that it says in that same thing you're showing me it does say that saving yourselves from them. Okay, no, as, 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 so it wear security. As, 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 it wear security, saving yourself from them. Yeah, because if you say the truth, if you say, if a Muslim he live in USA and he say, hey, we love to kill all the American, then he will be in trouble. So this is an act of security. The only time you can say it, like we are friends, if you are weak, this is why it's called taqiyya, protection. So if you are weak and you are not the superpower, if I live in Saudi Arabia, a Muslim will say to me, yeah, we hate you, we want to kill you, etc. But they will not dare to say that yeah. the same thing if they are not in Saudi Arabia. So when the Muslims are supreme in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in control, then they will say to you the truth. Yeah, Islam want to kill everybody. Did your prophet say I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam, yes or no? Kill all mankind? Yes, all mankind, with no exception. 
No, I've never heard of this. Okay, let's see. Because we need to connect the dots. And by the way, everybody... You haven't confused me with this one because if it says saving yourself... Okay, hold on. Yeah, saving, yeah, saving yourself. Yeah, saving yourself. If Muhammad is the aggression, how he can save ourselves? So Muslims, this is when Muslims are weak and weak. They cannot have... They have no control. They are allowed to lie. If they are living in a Muslim-controlled country, they will not say that to us. They will say, you are you are nejis, you are filthy. They will spit at us. Go and read the Pact of Amr and see what they are allowed to do to the Christian and the Jews according to the Pact of Amr. Now, read with me. This is your prophet saying, if you, I've been ordered to kill all the people, commanded to kill all people. Here it says, uqatil, which means fight to kill, not just fight. And they testify there's no God but Allah and the Muhammad is his messenger. And they have to perform the salat, which means they have to pray, and they have to pay the money. And then, and only then, they will save their, they will have their protection of their blood and their property from me. Muhammad is a gang. Does it say that? Yeah, no, I I am reading it. Yeah. Mm. So what does that mean? Muhammad is a gang member. He's like Holako. He want to control all the earth until they believe in him. You believe in me, or you die. Not him, Allah. But no, it yeah, says I, him. No, he associate. Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate, and Muhammad himself, he associate his name with the name of God, his God. He don't say if you believe in Allah and you, you pray to Allah. No, you have to believe in Allah and to believe in me. And then and only then I have, I will give you protection from being killed. Correct? 